Hey, welcome everybody. This is Hakeem Alexander. And this broadcast is going to be about successfully helping actors and entertainers to more consistently deliver their best performances with greater confidence and accuracy. Right, and now, how can I even be talking about that? Well, um, for many, many years, I've uh, been involved in the entertainment industry. Um, for one reason or the other, I can't seem to get away from it. It's not like I've been trying, though, but I also haven't been trying to stay very deeply in it. Um, you know, I haven't put much effort into trying to insert myself into it. I'm. It's something that I really love. I love the entertainment industry. I love actors, acting. Um, I've, I've been a musician and a performer, entertainer for a long time. And it just always seems to be something that I'm deeply involved in. So <clears throat> right to the punchline here, um, how can actors more consistently deliver their best performances with greater confidence and accuracy? And I'll get into to what I mean specifically by confidence and accuracy. Well, confidence should be self-explanatory but it really just means that you have the assurance that you'll be able to to deliver your best performance that you know that without a doubt that you're going to give it your best and and with accuracy it simply means that you're going to be doing it over and over again um, and that you're going to be hitting the spot. Like we, we can think about, for example, accuracy as like an archer, someone who's shooting at a target, right? So, you know, accuracy in, in archery or even in using a firearm of some kind, right? Or we can even think about in sports, you know, shooting a basketball, right? Accuracy would be getting more shots into the basket, right? More, more consistently or hitting the bullseye more consistently. So that's really what uh, we mean here by, uh, by more accuracy. And what I've actually developed was something that uh, you know, seemed more general at first. It was called the Emotional Incubation System Process Program, which I'll come up with a better name for that. For many, many years, I haven't been really good at coming up with the catchiest of names. I've come up with a lot of accurate names, but not a lot of stuff that you know people can remember or pronounce very easily or anything like that. But so here's uh, what this emotional incubation method or technique is all about. So it was first developed to help people reach goals in in general, and specifically for me to figure out how I can reach my goals and stay on target with things that I wanted to do because I would get distracted very easily and I would get distracted easily because of escapism, because of wanting to escape from the pressure and from the hard work that actually had to go into doing something because it would be a lot easier to binge on Netflix for example or uh, do something completely different than actually getting done what I needed to get done. And so one of the reasons for that is because of fear, fear of failure, rather than um, knowing and being confident that I would succeed. So when I broke it down, uh, I realized that, for example, um, it came down to my subconscious mind bringing up the past failures that I've had and highlighting those rather than highlighting the times that I've had success. Now I'm not exactly sure why that is or why I used to have that tendency to gravitate towards my subconscious mind bringing up 
and focusing or highlighting on times that I failed, but that's what, what would happen. But there were, of course, times when I had more clarity and I started to highlight the times that I would succeed. So I kind of broke that down and figured out what that was, and that's where um, the emotional in uh, inc incubation system or process or method, however you want to call it, uh, came up. And it actually is a process. It's, it's a system that, that I consistently use to get things done. So this works for a actors in the same exact way. So one thing is that a lot of actors tend to um, focus on specifically the audition that they're in so much rather than the actual performance itself. And this is something that, and, and, and what happens there is you're, as an actor, you're focusing on, on whether or not you're going to please the people that you're auditioning for, you know, casting directors, casting agents, or whoever you might be auditioning for. It could be the director, producer at the time. There are several different types of, of, of auditions that actors and other entertainers have, even musicians. So this is not just actors specifically, but entertainers in general. But I'm really focusing actually more, you know, towards uh, actors, and, and at least in this um, this presentation. So this is how the emotional incubation uh, process works. So what happens when we start to worry about whether we're going to succeed or not? And usually the worry comes from focusing on not succeeding. So in essence, what happens when you want to, to succeed at something and you don't? There's an emotional, an emotional component to that. And the emotional component, you feel disappointment. Right? And so what we fear when we start to dwell upon that we, the, the fact that we might not, and it's not a fact, right? but we start to dwell on the idea that we might fail or not achieve the goal of what we set out to, to achieve, is that we're actually reliving some past experience or some idea of we're attaching to the future that hasn't happened yet the emotion of disappointment and so I'm just going to focus on that one specific emotion for, for now disappointment and what, what's actually happening is we might be able to imagine all the details of succeeding we might see ourselves getting past the audition even having a successful audition but then there might be the the imagination of the, of getting the call back and we might not even see these things we just feel it and that's why we have to focus on the emotional incubation we might be feeling the disappointment and that's that's where the problem comes in and that's what we're we're focusing on here is is the fact that a lot of times we don't deliver our best performances as consistently as we would like because we tend to start feeling the disappointment and it's very difficult to pinpoint that because it's not a specific image or a picture that we're seeing it's the feeling and so in the process of emotional incubation is very very simple for me to explain and it's like this there, there have been times in your life when you actually have succeeded and so there's an emotion that goes along with that. We'll just call it the emotion of achievement. So there's disappointment and then there's achievement. And so what we want to do is we want to think about a time in our life when we've actually achieved something. For actors, you can think about those successful auditions that you've had when you get the call back and you're told, hey, you got the part. That's the emotion of achievement. You've got, you got the part. So what we want to do essentially is is to remember that time when we achieved that successful result and focus on that emotion of achievement. And we think about it for a little bit. We think about how we felt. We think about what we did. Did you go out and celebrate with uh, a friend? Did you call people and tell them about it? Did you cheer to yourself? Did you, did you do a little fist pump? You know, so whatever it was that you did, you want to focus on that component of, and we call it the emotion of achievement. 
and and the incubation part is is you keep on thinking about it as much as you possibly can so that you can grow you can nurture you can cultivate that feeling of achievement so what you're doing is like you're finding different ways to hold on to it and not only hold on to it like if we talk if we think about incubation let's talk about like putting a plant and cultivating like in an incubator right to make it grow like so imagine the holding on to it is putting it into a pot with some nice fertile soil and like it's a seed right and you water it you put it out in the sun every day maybe you prune it so what you're doing is you're doing everything you can to help it grow you want to hold on to that that feeling of achievement that emotion of achievement the times before when you when you've experienced that you've won okay so that's what you're doing and you think about it as much as you possibly can and then there are certain things that you can do like maybe coming up with a with a an anchor word and or an anchor action so for example just just to, to use this as an example and you can use this you you can say um successful audition or you could say achievement right you could use one of those things so you can say achievement as you think about that that feeling when you actually have achieved the successful result of getting the audition getting that successful call, call back that says you got the part and so you can just say the word achievement with that every time you feel a very strong connection to that memory remember we're recalling a time when you did succeed and if you know if it's your first time if you're new and acting you don't have any of those yet then you could uh, remember a time when you did achieve successfully achieve some result that you did want to get and so the whole point is to think about and dwell upon that time when you did succeed in something and that feeling of achievement that emotion of achievement as we're calling it and then you can just say that anchor word that key word like achievement and every time you can strongly remember and get that feeling that emotion when you're smiling when you're feeling overjoyed when you when you take in that big deep breath and you're feeling excited about it you say that word achievement or or whatever the anchor word you choose to use and then at the same time you also can do something like some you can find a, a physical anchor where maybe you can snap your fingers or tug on your earlobe or something like that or touch your eyebrow or some little thing that you can do maybe you might want to do something that is really inconspicuous that a lot of people won't notice you doing you know you could press the thumb to the center of your palm or cross your fingers or whatever it is finding a physical anchor to go with the anchor word and you do that as often as you can you might take 1 minute to take some time when you take some deep breath and you focus on that emotion of achievement by remembering that time when you successfully achieved either getting the part in the audition getting that successful call back or some other time in your life when you successfully achieved something and then you use that anchor word achievement and then you use that physical anchor of crossing your fingers or something else that you want to use possibly something that's inconspicuous so that people don't notice it when you're going into the audition okay and so the, but the the whole point to focus on is to learn how to cultivate and incubate that emotion of achievement to focus on that once you get it and you get the anchor word and you get the the physical anchor then you start to think about the audition the current audition that you're going to have and then you use that anchor word or that physical and or that physical anchor to bring back that emotion of achievement so that you can attach it directly to your current situation and that's what the whole emotional incubation process is about it's about finding a time when you have that successful emotion and you have that feeling of success and then you attach it to the current situation that you're in so i'm going to touch on this more at another time but right now that's it for now i just want to touch on that idea for actors but i'm going to go into this more and more very soon so my name is hakim alexander and that was just a little tip on how you can successfully uh more consistently deliver your best performances with with greater confidence and accuracy